I'm just sitting in my parlor right now. It's about 5.30 in the afternoon and the sun is setting in the west and the wind is creating a nice breeze through my little curtains and I'm just so happy in here. I'm really happy with the way it feels in my parlor now that I move things around. It won't be as nice of a place to film, so I'll have to work on that, but See how the curtain kind of gives me a little peek outside. And it is just so pleasant in here. I could not be happier. I love the sounds that old houses make. The rattling and the banging and the creaking. I don't find it scary at all. I find it rather comforting. I got one of these Book of the Month Club art portfolios. They're, I don't know when these were printed, in the 60s maybe? And I got it for $7 at an estate sale and it had several prints in it. They're about nine by 12 in size and I just kind of sprinkled them throughout my parlor. So inside these little papers, it tells you about the artist and the painting and some history behind it. And there were about, I don't know, there were about 10 or 12 in the portfolio that I bought. There were, they had lots of them, but yeah. And of course, this is a painting that I picked up in a, at an estate sale. I showed you this not long ago. I really like it in my parlor. It does have some problems. Don't look too closely or be too discriminating, but it looks nice when I'm sitting on my sofa and relaxing in the parlor. I haven't made chicken soup for a while and I thought, oh boy, that sounds really nice on a Monday evening. So all I do is I make my own stock by simmering a large chicken breast and two whole legs that's the lay and the thigh together i simmer that for about an hour with some onions carrots celery and a little bit of cabbage just coarsely chopped with lots and lots of salt some italian seasoning and pepper and i let that simmer for about an hour maybe even more and then i take my chicken out and i strain all the particles out of it and in the meantime I chop up some carrots a little bit of celery I don't always put celery and some onions and I saute it in my cast iron pan and I've just taken to doing that I think it kind of draws out the flavor a little bit so these are not the carrots and the celery and the onions are cooked I added a few potatoes a little bit of cabbage and some frozen peas and I'm gonna let that just stay there while I go pick up my son from school. When I get back, I'm gonna take the chicken off the bone and put it in there and we'll be ready to go for dinner. And I always add a little bit of sriracha sauce and some sesame oil to give it a little bit of zing. So I've added the chicken. You can see my pot is full to the brim. I'm gonna just heat it up a little bit and add the sriracha. I made some fried rice for my sons whose birthdays are this month. They are 12 years and one day apart, but I had to satisfy everyone's gastronomic sensibilities. So I made three different kinds. This is actually a keto fried rice. It's everything I put in my regular fried rice, except the rice. It has bacon, eggs, green onion, and it has cauliflower rice instead of regular rice. And I think it's rather tasty. There's what I used to cook it all in. And then this is just my regular fried rice, which my oldest son wanted. And it has regular rice, of course. And then this one is vegan, made without the bacon or bacon fat when I cooked it. And they're all delicious. Mmm, so we can share. 
And here's the table. My neighbor made this tablecloth out of an old piece of fabric. She just whipped it up today. This was when Robin was visiting and we were going to my mom's for dinner and we were making risotto. She was making traditional at her house with Robin and I'm making some vegan risotto for my other son. And of course we can all eat that. That's some vegan cheese that I'm adding to it. And I'll tell you what, it was very, very delicious. And what is in there? There's spinach and onion. And this is vegan chicken broth that I'm just adding and cooking to it. Tomatoes. Mm, what else? Did I use vegan sausage in there? I think I did. Just keep adding the broth and stirring and stirring and stirring. It takes a lot of broth. I probably used too much rice in this recipe, but it was very good. Oh, and, and margarine, yeah, to get that buttery flavor. And it just so happened the day before I found this amazing Pyrex casserole while I was out thrifting. I'll be keeping that. And we made some cotton candy at my mom's. It's beautiful. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah, I bought so that so cotton candy crazy. machine about <laughs> two years ago. Robin and I love, love, love cotton candy. So since she was here visiting, we had to make some. And it was amazing. I think, that might be it. I think that's it. Present. This is my cotton candy. Mm, <laughs> smells good. Taste it. Did she get rid of all the stuff? The pot She didn't have that. I mean, her place. Mm. Is it good? Yeah, it tastes like cotton candy. It's not. If you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen this photo. There's a local farm where you can go pick wildflowers. You can fill a bucket for one price. And this was the last day they were doing that. And also the first day they were opening their pumpkin patch. So we did both. Hey, Mom. We can cut down with the small pumpkin if you want. Yeah. We can put a and you can put a, a a light one on there, huh? Yeah, I, Mama forgot to buy the little lights. Yes. We'll have to. I'll have to go to CVS tomorrow and get them. Have to go to CVS tomorrow and get them. You're doing a good job tracing. You want me to cut it out? We have to open his head first. So who's I'm this guy about, right here? Mr. Ellsworth. That is a big what's you, pumpkin. What's you, what's you write down on that one? You want to write Mr. Ellsworth on it? Mr. Well Ellsworth on it. All right. What's the pen? All okay. Right. So ready? Yeah. Whoa, dude, that's gonna be really big. Mr. <laughs> Look at him. Look at him. He looks Mr. great. Mm -hmm. excited? You're excited for what, buddy? Halloween. What are you gonna be for Halloween? Are you gonna dress up? A pirate or? You wanna be a pirate? Or something else. Something else. What do you want to be? Mom. What? Mom. Yeah. From Pixar Soul. From Pixar Soul. What yeah. is he? Wear a turtleneck. Are you going to be Joey for Halloween? Okay. All right. 